It's the same old story. Two's company and three's a crowd. So for our latest pigeon shooting outing, Team Wild is splitting up for maximum Ready effect. Keith and Steve are going to set up in a hide as normal over some wordies and dead bird cradles and I'm going to snipe them from this woodland margin right just here and over by the hedgerow there. And I'm going to shoot them with my air rifle as they come into the trees. We've got some lofting poles, we've got some decoys and I've got a Deven hide. So we're going to get set up and we're going to come at it from two different angles. The boys have been keeping an eye on Fonty's farm for flight lines and roosting patterns so we know exactly where we want to go. But we need something to tempt them in. Now you can see these little inventions that, uh, that David made for me. Basically this is just a, a normal flock of pigeon decoy uh, on a dead bird cradle. But David has attached some lead weights to the bottom and then attached the bird itself to the cradle. And then we can use a lofting kit we've got to put these up into the tree on the branches and then hopefully they'll sway very invitingly like this. They're going to be irresistible. The bespoke decoy design is making the poles bend a little too much making life tough for Team Wild's tallest member, Steve. With the birds now in place, we have to set up my Ameristep hide. The position should present me with shots in a 180 degree arc, and at all heights, if the birds come in to roost. So as you can see, it's nice and cosy in here. I'm not going to get wet, I've got this, uh, this hide over the top of me. But as you can see, perfect mobility in here with the idle back. I keep the rifle down until I need to take the shot. Literally, put it onto the idle back, put it onto the target, and Bob's your uncle. I can see both here and also I can see this copse at the far side. They'll never know what hit them. Steve and Keith are feeling pretty punchy as they leave me to it. So you okay in there Ian? Yeah all snug as a bug Soup, in the rug. Sorted. Soup sorted thank Coffee, you. Coffee sorted. Service has been fantastic. Oh good. Remember just shoot the ones at the tree. Don't shoot with the ones with the price tags on them. Got it? Watch. And learn. The boy knows what he's talking about. Moron. A couple of fields away, the guys prepare the pattern. They have no dead birds with them today, so we'll definitely know if the plastic ones are effective. As normal, we're going to start getting set up, but we've got additional friends today, so we'll see how these bad boys work. We've heard they're very good, but the proof's in the pudding, isn't it? And we'll see. Rain's just about off, so hopefully this afternoon we should be in. Good shape. The Hunter Specialties Backpacker Hide is making another appearance and is coping well with the wind. Does the rain cause problems? Yeah, it can do because the birds, when they get the feathers wet, they don't want to come out the trees. They'll, they'll sit in city trees for the day until the weather goes off and dries out a bit. But we're hoping if we get enough birds down in the pattern at the front, it's going to look really inviting and bring them in. We'll see. With Bracken keeping an eye on proceedings, they're soon ready to start making an impression on the woodies. Within a couple of hours, there's a massive pile of birds at their feet. Keith has even bagged a crow. I reckon he's going on, bud. I've been watching that tree where he's been sat under and there hasn't been much going into it at all. Hey, be all right. Hey, hang on, hang on, coming over to the left over the magnet. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Another one. Another, Another one, kidder. Yeah, it'll Another be all right. One. It's got a big flask of coffee in there anyway, and a flask of soup, it'll be fine. Am I in now, yeah? Yeah, it's empty, there you go. Is that another box of cartridges gone? Yeah, it is, yeah. Bloody hell. I was never really going to compete with the boys today, and I don't know if the number of shells being put through the arm sand shotguns is for my benefit or the pigeons. I do manage a few birds, both from the hide and a brief stalk across the field, but I'm dreading the call from Keith. Hello. Yeah, how are you doing? How are you getting on? Yeah? Yeah, we have. Yeah, yeah we've got one or two. Yeah, you've, yeah, you heard us popping away, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you want us to you come over with a dog? Picking up? No? OK, you're going you're gonna to come over here? You're going to bring yours over here, yes? OK, buddy. OK, yeah. Do you, do you want Steve to bring the truck? No. No. Okay. No. No. Okay. Okay. Thanks. See you in a bit to that. He's cool. He's going to um, he's going to come over what he's shot and uh, add them to the pattern. He's going to add them to what he's got here. I have to see it to believe they've done so well today. How are we doing then, boys? How are you doing? How are you yeah, not too bad. We've yeah? got three. Three. Yeah. How about how about you? How'd you get on? Oh, I'm doing all right, boy. 
and a crow. Very important that one crow, blimey. Uh, so it looks like my hide idea didn't really work. I think your decoys seem to seem to win today. I'm going to put mine right at the front if that's okay. Yeah, yeah that's fine mate. Nah, that looks like a proper day's fidget cheating. That's all funny. That's a good management trick. <laughs> I suppose there is one benefit of using the air rifle. At least I haven't got to tidy up all those shells at the end of such a good day. Mm.